All right, y'all. Uh, if you can't tell, this is not my apartment. We are currently back in my parents' house. It's weird because it doesn't feel like this is home anymore. I mean, it's home, but not really. My home home to me is in Virginia. I have just finished my first year of college. I am now not a freshman. I am a sophomore now. It's funny because I kind of already considered myself a sophomore because all of my, like the class that I was with last semester are now sophomores. So I was technically a sophomore this semester. I just didn't want to call myself a freshman. Anywho, but now I am an academic sophomore. So that's really exciting. Let's do a little tiny recap of this last semester. <laughs> So the first semester was kind of incredible. I don't think anything can beat first semester. We started with meeting some really amazing friends that will be my friends forever. We've got Riley, Ashley, Sophie specifically. We went on so many adventures together. Those were always so much fun. I am prepared. I got my blanket, my makeup wipes. We got Sophie and her <laughs> and, food. And my Riley's chips. And her Riley chips. We are going to go party with our friends. And then we met my boyfriend, Jothan, which was kind of crazy. It all was super duper fast. That was super fun. Got to know each other pretty quickly. This is the time for you to meet the special someone. <laughs> Are we ready? Give us a countdown. Ready? Oh, I did. Three, three, <laughs> three, two, <laughs> one. Ah. <laughs> me? It's so weird to say it. Me, my boy? That's me. <laughs> you guys guessed it right. You did. You guys have been um, really hoping for this, and the time has finally come. And then I was quarantined for two weeks. That was pretty exciting as well. During quarantine, kind of just hung out with my roommates, the two that were there, the two Annas. They were super awesome. Come on, Anna, you got this, you got this. We have to get 35 points. Where are we at? 36 points. 36? Just get 36 points or else we have to go back up. Watch out, Anna. So, I don't want to pay you. <laughs> so, what do I need to get? Okay, one. So, you got one point. Okay, okay. Good job. That's Eight. safe. That's safe. I'll try to get lower numbers. 16. Or just go or just go off and get a 48. Eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. What do I need? 11? 11. Oh, so you just no. hit the 11 just, perfectly and then we win. Sometimes I'd be FaceTiming Jothan and Eliza and Tucker, so that was really, really fun. That was so much fun. Yes! Oh, wait, there's two oh, mics. This is really awkward. Hi, Trevor. There's two. Dude, Eliza. Oh Don't God. worry about these two. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. This is <laughs> what's gonna make us. Survive quarantine for the next 10 days. Okay, I'm talking to Eliza. Eliza, say hi. And then, I don't know if this was put in any videos, I think it was. The day I got out of quarantine, me and Sophie did a little something. Dude, I'm, I'm like driving with like tears in my eyes. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm kind of impressed with myself right now. Hi, guys. Oh. So, um, <laughs> I've never I'm heard literally, like, more curse words in my life. Dude, there's like tears in my eyes. I'm literally <laughs> down the mountain backwards. We have to rivers. We wanted to try and look at this <laughs> And there we is no, and we got stuck, and I pushed the car, Dude, I pushed the truck. I, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Thank you, buddy. And we are crying. So that was exciting. Um, That definitely brought us closer together, that's for sure. But yeah, that was just the beginning of the semester, and the semester was already so incredible. Throughout the semester, we just had a ton of fun with all my friends. I had such a great friend group, so that was really exciting. We had the Durkin brothers which you probably only really saw Sam. We all know Sam. We had Tucker and Jothan. It was all just super fun, a great group. We were always hanging out. It's a beautiful day out here in yeah, Buena Vista, Virginia. <laughs> These are my friends, Sam. Hey, hey. Hey, hey shout out. Tanner, hey, shout out. Maddie, shout out to my girlfriend, Ashley. Maddie. Oh, girlfriend. Oh, 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 look at these two. Comment below, comment <laughs> in the section below how cute they are. I see a rate of one to 10. Oh, here you are. Oh, here's Mitch. What's up? What's up, What's up, man? What's up? Definitely hard going into the second semester because the second semester I didn't hang out with them at all because 
the group was kind of just split up and scattered a little more. The second semester was still pretty great. We, I made a new friend group, I had new roommates, so that was really exciting. Going into the second semester was kind of rough from the beginning. I went straight from saying goodbye to my boyfriend for two years. It is the day and I am extremely sad. <sighs> Makes me cry think about it, but um, uh, Today's the last day with my boyfriend. Speaking of which, he's right here. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Oh. onto a plane to go back to Virginia. Once I got to Virginia, I then was able to meet my roommates who have been so incredible. I love them so much and I currently am missing them a ton. So if you guys are watching, I miss you guys and I love you guys and I'm so excited for next semester. Anywho. You should probably go take shelter. Oh my gosh, wait, this is like, this is like serious right now. Oh, there's wait, like, yeah, we're gonna die. It's my first tornado. <laughs> I have never dealt with this at all. This crazy. Guys, we're dying. Yeah. I met Falole, who I actually grew up with back in Hawaii, so I hadn't seen her in about, I think, 10 plus years, so I hadn't seen her in a long time, so that was really exciting to reunite with her. I then just unpacked all my stuff kind of by myself, and I realized how much stuff I had. So, little tip, you really don't want that much stuff. Really messy. Okay, look at the difference. You can just tell the type of people we are. I packed a ton of things that I really didn't end up using, and by the end of this last semester, I actually got rid of most of it and I kept it pretty simple so when we go back to ne next semester we'll show you guys what happened anywho and then the start of the second semester started there were lots of tears that happened just because Jothan had left and that was really hard but there were also lots and lots of different laughs and lots of fun times but we kind of changed up the apartment as you guys saw thanks mommy full <laughs> send. It's a unique flavor. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dance season, football season had started. So I showed you guys kind of our homecoming dance. Let's go. Woo! We're here with our new glow ups and our cute shoes. Yeah, so wow. shoes. Yeah, so cute. Look at mine. Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> Let's go. Going to all those football games was really fun. I didn't really stay for many of them because I don't exactly understand football. But that was really fun. I met some awesome girls on the dance team. I actually got a lot closer with the dance team, which was really, really helpful this last semester. Near the end of the semester, Flo, Emma, and I started getting a lot closer to one another. We hung out almost every single night. We've got another mall that's about an hour away from here. It closes at nine and we're thinking of going there. It flows up for it. Oh, we Walmart. We really, really want to get her. I'm so excited. Oh, okay. Okay. How's it going? Good. Good. Great. Good. 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 I'm so excited to see this. I'm so excited. I would say that this last semester has been a little bit harder for me because I didn't have the same friend group. This semester was nothing like last semester, but I think that I grew a lot more this semester than I did last semester just because I went through so many different things. I had to learn how to navigate through life, had to figure out for myself what I wanted. It's already about a week into the new month, so I'm a little late on this, but I haven't done this yet, and I, I like to do this kind of stuff where I just like reevaluate my month and like what I'm doing and everything. So that's what I am going to be doing today. I'm just finishing up writing my goals. I wrote out when like I would film and then when the videos would post. That's probably um, custom to change, but we're gonna call it quits because I am tired, so. Both semesters were great. This freshman year has been pretty amazing and I loved it so much. So yeah, that's kind of a recap of this last semester. All right, so now that you guys have seen the incredible, crazy, I just tried it putting together those two words. This incredible, crazy semester, two semesters. Guys, I've been at college for a year. That does not seem right. 
that's kind of insane. Anywho, I asked on my Instagram for you guys to give me questions for a freshman or for people leading into freshman year of college. And just to give you guys kind of my insights on freshman year, college in general, going from no public school to school. So we're gonna get started with this first question that says, what is college like to be in? What is it like to be in college, basically? If I could describe one word for college, it's freedom. But with all this freedom and no rules, technically, it comes a lot of responsibility and you have to actually learn what you want, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. But I feel like that's where the growth comes in. So I went from having a curfew, turning my phone in, only being able to really hang out with people on certain days because we had work and stuff, to being able to hang out whenever I wanted. I had classes that I could choose if I wanted to go or not go. I should go, you should go. But I had to figure out what, where my priorities were basically. But altogether, college is incredible. And whether or not you're going for the degree, to be able to like be successful or you are going like I am, I already have a business, I already have like a job it, situation set in play. I still went because it can teach you a ton of things that I probably would not have learned if I just was staying home. Will you know who your dorm mate or roommate is before the move in day and will you get to message with them? For the first semester, I, it was kind of a different situation because I was in one apartment and then they moved me to a new apartment like the next day before the semester started. In my first dorm apartment yes i did know who it was usually online they'll i don't know how other places work but for svu i was able to go online and i was able to find who my roommate was and then i messaged her the second apartment i did not know because i had just been flipped like i had just been moved into there and none of us actually knew each other because it was a really spur of the moment but you should be able to know them okay is it hard to be a freshman I think it's hard, as hard as you make it. This last year of college has actually been really easy, but that's just because I made sure to prioritize my homework, my friends, and my school, my my work. So I didn't do really well on the work side, but I'll do better this semester, I promise, this next semester. If you pay attention in class and take notes, it should be pretty good. And if you just if you just manage your time, basically, it shouldn't be too hard, but that goes for SVU. I've heard from Sophie that BYU has been a lot harder for her, and so it just depends on the school you go to. How do you balance homework, friends, and mental health without stressing yourself out? So like I said, time management. I made sure to prioritize, but also you don't want to just be work, 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 just doing homework all the time, studying all the time, and doing work all the time, because that just doesn't make college fun at all. So I think that it's good to reward yourself after doing so much homework or doing so much studying. Go out with friends. You can make like a timeline for yourself. If I finish all my school and homework and work by 6 p.m., then I will hang out with my friends. You want to make sure you still like give your Yourself, like some not prizes but like reward yourself and then that can all make you more motivated do you ever just go to your dorm instead of going to your class or your school yes I have done that countless times yeah I have not I have skipped out on some classes but I have a little like strategic way of doing it because some classes are really crazy about your attendance and some aren't. So the classes, sometimes I was really struggling in the morning and I just did not wanna to go to class. I knew that it wouldn't be as beneficial. And so I made sure like, there was this one class called business analysis. You guys probably saw me in the room with all the computers. I skipped that class a few times, but that's just because I knew I could make up the homework very quickly. Like, cause in class, the only thing we did was the homework. He didn't really talk, for, like he talked to more, so, more so lectured, but it wasn't important. But then I had another class like reason in the self, which is a philosophy class that attendance was very crucial and in class was when they did all the homework and like talked about everything so I always went to this class except for two times one time because I was super sick I think the second time I was super sick as well so I just made sure I wasn't missing anything or I had a friend in that class but I just yeah I just left a few classes have you ever been to a party and got drunk SVU is not really a party school at all because it is kind of aligned with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I think actually some people did, but I never heard of it because it was supposed to be kept pretty low key. There was one party last semester that was apparently really crazy. This one guy on the volleyball team usually put it together, but he wasn't there. So some other guys put it together. Anyways, it wasn't very great, but that's that. I did not go to a party and I have never gotten drunk. 
Okay, um, I think those are all the questions I'm gonna give you guys today. If you guys wanna see another video like this one of me answering your questions, please let me know, I can do another one. But yeah, that is my freshman year. Kind of crazy, I'm still like in shock about it. But I'm gonna go back next semester. It's gonna be better than ever. I've got some, it's the beginning of the year. So we've got some great goals we're gonna be doing. I will be filming more, I promise. I'm so sorry, this last semester has just been a little hard on me and so I didn't film very much but this next semester will be better. That is freshman year for you. I will see you guys later.